An underwhelming but nevertheless roller coaster campaign for these two former Premier League sides eagerly awaiting the summer break. Tyreek Backinson, stunner in the Suffolk sunshine, got Ipswich off to a flyer against Charlton. Despite falling well short of their pre-season promotion target, in winger Wes Burns, Ipswich have had some reason to cheer. The Welshman marking his spot in the League One team of the season this week with a nonchalant finish for 2-0. From those first ten minutes, you wouldn't have known it was the visitors who had won six of their last nine coming into this one. Jaden Stockley's form has been key in that run, but he was denied by the elastics of Christian Walton. It was to be one-way tractor boy traffic from here on in, though. Top scorer Macaulay Bond selflessly supplied Burns the perfect pass to move just one behind him now in 11 league goals for the campaign. Kieran McKenna's side had endured their worst run since he got the job in December, but they had the home support already purring at the prospect of next season. Even defender Luke Wolfenden tried getting on the end of this slick move. Less said about the finish, the better. Charlton's worst defensive away display in 42 games wasn't improved by exploits at the other end. Top scorer Stockley again going close. After three years at Portman Road, it seems James Norwood would be moving on to Pastures New in the summer, and he neatly bid farewell to round off this final day route late on. Both clubs will be hoping for a serious push, though, next season. FC Wimbledon will all join crew in League Two next season. Fleetwood step on goal difference. Morecambe will play at this level again next season after extending the proud history of never having been relegated. Congratulations, Wigan. He won the League One title one year after finishing a point off relegation and being in administration. Rotherham joined them after the win at Gillingham. Uh, on a dramatic final day, Wickham replaced Plymouth Argyle in the last playoff spot and will join Sunderland, Sheffield Wednesday and MK Dons in a compelling postseason. We'll have highlights.